Okay, let's look at the last time they played. Geelong versus Port Adelaide in the stock plays, in particular the centre bounces. And this is down in Geelong. And Geelong don't want to let this happen. Port Adelaide kicked eight goals in the first quarter. And it was a really, really strong display. I know Dangerfield didn't play, so he's going to add a lot of pace and strength in the middle and around the ground. But this setup here is what they love to do with Port. So they love to get, whether it's Butters, there's Horn Francis, there's Ollie Wines. They love to create this space where they run on. And you'll see Horn Francis comes around to become the sweeper that allows Butters to shoot forward. So the cat's got to be onto this. And they do this quite regularly. It doesn't get on. He nearly got it, but that's one of their one of their strengths. Around the ground, they like to have pace. This is in Port Adelaide's going this way. They nearly they get a shot on goal here, but look at this setup here. So what they want to do is they want to they want to have players coming onto the ball that have pace, and this is exactly what they do here. I think this is Butters comes back this way to block and it allows Horn Francis and Rioli to come at the ball with pace. So you can see how they're all setting up here. This is, once again, it's inside Port's forward 50. And then they just use the block. You see Butters coming through in, in this situ- in this area here to create some space and that gives them a chance to come at the ball. So it becomes very, very dangerous. So they've gone to a different setup here now. They've got a play here, but they still like to hit it over. This is really interesting that Geelong, their favourite hit for a right-hander is there and no one's set up there. So Geelong obviously went very defensive early on because they were losing the centre bounces and all the clearances. They just want to have pace, Port Adelaide. This situation here, you've got to be aware of Horn Francis. He wants to come at the contest at pace. So you've got to create, you've literally got to wait here for him. And especially on this side, where that's where the Port Adelaide ruck is, he just likes to drop in this space. And this is exactly what happens in this situation here, comes through. So you've got to be wary of him. It's hard to chase him. You've just almost got to wait for his running patterns. So now it's a defensive, almost a defensive triangle. But once again, Port Adelaide, just with their pace, watch Horn Francis. Just their pace, ability to get out, and then whoosh, go away they go. And then this last one, it's right near the end of the end of the quarter. This is where they get the last, just butters work rate. And then here's this space again. This is where I reckon Geelong's got to probably try and maximise. But just butters just push, pushing under, and away he goes. So, but Geelong, with Dangerfield coming in, it's going to make a big difference. Massive game coming this Thursday night.